Food gods Jean-Christophe Novelli and Matt Tebbit are risking their reputations. The big Frenchman, he doesn't scare me. But if you win, that's it. You'll have to find another chef. In a competition to make delicious, healthy food. But it won't be easy. They'll each be paired with every chef's worst nightmare, a family of terrible cooks. Oh, my gosh, the sacre bleu. This, on the inside, is going to be killing you. In just one day, these amateurs will be trained to run a full service in our swanky London restaurant, where every mouthful must be healthy, tasty, and to die for. As soon as they're up, up, up. Let's go. Go, go. Justine, turn out to hurry up. It's OK, move your ass quickly. Both teams will be cooking head to head, serving their dishes at exactly the same time. I'm sure there's more stuff to do. Then tell me. You're in charge. I'm listening to you, girl. Give me those four. Don't look at them. Give me those four. We'd be young, though. Forty diners will eat both and vote for their favourite. How can I describe it? Or we think? Leaving chefs to face glory or humiliation. Let battle commence. Let's meet our first family preparing to do battle. Let's have it! Steady on. It's dancer Amy, builder Mark, <laughs> and son Harry. They live in a Seaview penthouse in Hastings and have a big reputation to keep. We're the push and becks of takeaway, I think. <laughs> Hi, can I have the chicken in the black bean sauce? With extra toppings and extra cheese. They live on a fantastic diet of takeaways and ready meals. With the garlic bread, that'd be great. I'm surprised we're still alive, really. We've probably got mm. so much. We, we, we deserve to be, like, out here, I think. Large cheeseburger, please. It's just chucked in the oven, that's it. Pizza or... Takeaway. Nothing's made fresh. I would say I can't cook. I won't cook. <laughs> One of their favourite feasts to gorge on is deep-fried chicken with all the extras oozing with fat and grease. Friday night is our special night. We get the whole shebang. In the next room, Amy and Mark's kitchen is like something from a show home. And there's a simple reason for that. Now, of all these cupboards, we have got one, and that is it. It's never used for cooking. Oh! I keep my makeup eye treatments in the fridge. But one person in this family is worried about his health. My friends are mostly all healthy. None of them eat unhealthy foods, and I'd like to, like, fit in with what my mates do, to be honest. His diet is very poor, and I think it will, you know, it's not good for him. That's all he knows. It's my kind of thought, I think. We desperately need some help, I think. I have no idea. So we do need <laughs> someone who does know. It's gonna need a miracle. <laughs> Award-winning chef Matt Tebbett will have to work miracles if he's going to rescue these two. He has placed an order and summoned Amy and Mark to his fox hunter restaurant in Wales. Now, I, I would say, can you rustle me something up, but you Not don't cook. Happen. So do you think you can go and find a takeaway and bring me back okay. something that you'd eat a couple of times a week? Yeah. No problem. No problem. Okay. I think every now and again, this stuff's all right. <laughs> Maybe once a month. Yeah. Initially, it's quite nice. It is nice, yeah. But to be having it the amount of times you have it is terrible. The family's love of takeaways means their diet is high in fat. Too much fat can raise your cholesterol, which can lead to heart disease. If they cut down, they could keep their hearts healthy for longer. So you're allowed 70 grams of fat a day. Oh, this has got 66 in it. So <laughs> if that's all you eat, Shocking! Air, if that's all you eat every day, okay. then yeah. you'd probably be all right. You'd die early. You know, to look at you both, you look very sort of fit and healthy, but this on the inside yeah. is going to be killing you, slowly. Yeah. Harsh words from Matt. But let's see if things are as bad with our next family. Meet the Sings from East Ham. Hello! Lollipop lady Mum Justine and her five feisty daughters. We're easy to win it! Wow, girl power. Mum rules the roost. Mother, that is my stop when guests come round my house. Oh, yes. And she's even more bossy in the kitchen. Stop sniffing. Yeah. Where she rules the cooker with an iron spatula. Uh, excuse me? Justine loves to feed the girls her homemade curries. I think my cooking is quite healthy. I use fresh vegetables majority of the time. 
uh, fresh meat. Maybe so, but it's all stuck together with lashings and lashings of oil. It doesn't stop there. She also puts staggering amounts of seasoning in all the food. Her kids aren't impressed. That's disgusting. Oh, no, that's nasty. It could be a bit healthier, cos sometimes it's a bit salty. Mum's having none of it. No, it's not salty. It is. No, it's not. Eldest daughter Suki, who has two kids of her own, can't cook. I don't know how to cook properly because my mum never had the patience to teach me. She, no, she has her patience span is like that small. In the second, there's a bowl in the second. I haven't got patience for being slow. Suki also doesn't eat vegetables, and neither do her kids. It's my oldest one, Ria. She said if it's healthy, she doesn't like it. I want, I want to change for her. Jean-Christophe has taken this family under his wing and he's called them to his Novelli Cooking Academy in Hertfordshire. Bonjour. Hello. Yes, you like making curries? Yes. Well, she's great. I love curries too. But it's about how you make them. But will he be able to stomach the way Justin makes hers? Is it salted? <laughs> Is it salted? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, my God, sacre bleu. Justin's overuse of salt is a serious matter. Just cutting down could reduce the risk of strokes and keep her heart healthier for longer. The government recommends that adults should have a maximum of up to six grams of salt a day. This recipe has 5.3 grams of salt just on its own. I'm absolutely completely shocked. No wonder the children complain it's got quite a lot of salt in it then. Quite a lot. There's an ocean of salt in here. Both couples need help. At his restaurant in Wales, Matt is going to cook up a healthy version of their favourite takeaway. OK, so we're going to make a southern-style chicken. You can make it in half an hour, all right, which is the same amount of time it takes okay. to get in. You can't go and get the takeaway, all right? OK. First, Matt adds strong flavours to the flour, chilli powder, thyme and chicken stock. I'm using these bags. Right. Split half the flour, so you only get a very light dusting. He dips skinless and boneless chicken thighs into low-fat evaporated milk instead of an egg. I can again. cope with that. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Lightly sprays with oil. Oh, I like that. Of... You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Just a, bit of a little square. Preps the spuds and bakes it all in the oven. Next up is the coleslaw. And uh, you can chuck in you know, whatever you like. It's much better than the packet stuff, doesn't Yeah, thanks it, very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. Matt uses no-fat Greek yoghurt and low-fat mayonnaise. Ooh. Ooh. Right, that looks good. Yeah, it looks yeah. insane, really. And he adds some sunflower spread to finish it off. Mmm, <laughs> very good. Yeah, a bit hot. Oh, it's got a bit of cake, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a bit of <laughs> No, delicious, that, isn't it? Compared to what we usually have on yeah, a Friday night. Yeah, much better. Oh, yeah, isn't? that's a lot better. So in terms of fat, your traditional Friday night supper had 66 grams of fat in it. Yeah. This has got a third. That is brilliant, that is. Yeah. That looks so much better as well. And we can it, do so? it. Mm. Matt has created a tasty dish with only 22 grams of fat and in less than half an hour. In Jean-Christophe's kitchen, he needs to show Suki and Justin how to give up their fatty curries for his spicy number. I'm going to make you a quick lamb balti served with some basmati rice. He begins by adding bay leaves, lemon juice and turmeric to the rice and there's no salt. Then put your lamb in. He peppers and seals the lamb. And I can't see a lot of oil in that as well, so it looks really good and healthy. The onions. Add the vegetables and curry paste. That's oh, it smells really nice. Exactly. And then he sneaks some spinach in. If you put that in, you'll ruin it. Well, how do you think I managed to get so much uh, muscles? Whatever you say, Popeye. The spinach will be melting in a space of 30 seconds. Look at this beauty. Looks lovely, that does. It's tasty. It's not salty. It's not spicy. It doesn't taste like vegetables. It's nice. It's really come out really nice. I enjoyed it. The salt only have 1.5. 1.5 of that gram really of good. salt. Et voilà. With the two families shown the ropes, Jean-Christophe and Matt Tebbett will now put their reputations on the line. The couples will go head-to-head, -head, running a full two-course service at our chic London restaurant. And there's a year's worth of healthy groceries for the winning family. You're going to be feeding 
40 people. 40? They're fair now. 40 people? Just me and Mark? You're on your own there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 40 people, wait. Oh, my gosh. Well, my legs are that jelly already, and I haven't even got there. The big Frenchman, he doesn't scare me. I'm going to beat him again. This swanky restaurant is about to be a battleground. Chefs Jean-Christophe Novelli and Matt Tebbett are training families to go head-to-head -head and cook for 40 diners. But you can't mix it until the order comes in, cos we don't know who's ordered. It's just, it's just ordered. They're flapping. We're chilled. The diners will taste both teams' food and vote for their favourite. It's a nervous stroke, I'm telling you. Oh. Handing one chef victory and the other humiliation. I won't let anything beat me. I like very much Justin and Suki. They're exactly the type of people I want with me against Matt. OK, teams, to your corners for tonight's spicy numbers. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? Oh, yeah? Good. That's what we like. <laughs> We are doing a beautiful yeah. sea bass. Ah, today. sea bass. Oh, yeah. It's going to be beautiful. And what is your pudding? It's like a mango <laughs> full with a coconut crisp. We cook in Chinese, sweet and sour chicken with noodles. And then after that, pineapple caramelized oat pudding with coconut ice cream. So, tonight's menu. Matt's spicy sea bass will face Jean Christophe's sweet and sour chicken. Followed by Matt's mango and lime fool and Jean-Christophe's upside-down pineapple pudding served with ice cream. I think Jean-Christophe's choice of uh, sweet and sour chicken is pretty safe. It's just a very safe option, and that could be very boring, so might be trouble for him. Let's hope Matt doesn't have trouble with his team. Here we go. Sea bass here. Nice fillets. Now, I know you haven't cooked any fish. No. Much no. fish. Never, ever. Any fish. The fish is prepared and coated in spices. So we've got some jasmine rice. Now, there's quite a lot of strong flavours going on because we're not using any salt. We've got an oyster sauce going in there, we've got chilli, we've got ginger, we've got garlic. Matt cooks the fish in a dash of oil and no butter. Now, just, just give it a gentle push. I'm petrified now. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kicked in now, what I've got to do. <laughs> then he fries the garlic with shiitake mushrooms. Have you come across these? No. No. <laughs> right, veg in. He cooks some bok choy in oyster sauce and water. Pack the rice in. Yeah. On with the fish. It's all finished off with a chilli and spring onion garnish. So all these ingredients, pretty much, you haven't yeah. come across? No. no, nothing. The rice. No. The rice. The rice, yeah. But that's why I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Next up, Jean-Christophe shows his family how to make healthy Chinese food. Right, now it's time to cook. The chicken is fried in a touch of oil. And basically, the only thing I haven't got is salt. Brown pepper, but it's a nice way to replace the salt content. So, now, if that was me at home, that would have been a half a bottle of oil in that already before I started. Pepper. The veg is mixed wow. in with some star anise spice. Okay, then we're going to make the sauce. Jean Christophe mixes corn flour, pineapple, and a dash of vinegar. Some tomato puree. That's for the dessert. No. Oh, yeah. oh. That's for the sweet and sour. <laughs> you oh. obviously don't know how to cook, girl. I'm telling you. Oh, it's are you sure you want to win tonight? She better win. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'll kill her. The sauce is then mixed in with the chicken. Suki, you're not saying that much? I'm soaking up the information, so I'm ready for tonight. You can't leave your mom to take the decision all the time. We are a team, and we have to make sure we win. It's served with broccoli and noodles. This is not only just tasty, but also very healthy. In just half an hour, the restaurant will be filled with 40 hungry diners demanding to be fed. The families must do all the cooking while the chefs supervise. Front of house will be run by Liz Reese, who expects to serve each diner with two dishes at the same time. Are we all ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready yes. over there? Oh, yes, definitely. Let's get on with it. Pressure is on at the moment. I think you should do the fish. No! Don't be close to that knife for me. Make sure you chop them exactly like that, yeah? I'm just going to be like a headless chicken. Jean-Christophe, worried that Justin is too dominant, has made a bold decision. OK, Suki, you will have to be in charge. Me? Your daughter will have to be in charge. Like, you're having a laugh, isn't it? OK, right. Oh, then we're definitely last then. If Justin obviously can cope with the fact that the daughter will be in charge, that will be miraculous. Well, taking control, I don't mind. It's just taking control with my mum. 
Amy is struggling to take control of the fish. I don't like fish. I knew I yeah. wouldn't like this. I've burnt my fingers so many times. Yeah. She's panicking, so... And it's all about team effort, so... Keep your woman happy. Meanwhile, JC's decision to put Suki in charge could be backfiring. I'm sure there's more stuff to do. Then tell me. You're in charge. I'm listening to you, girl. We're going to get the plates ready or anything? I don't know. OK, guys, I want hot food on the pass in 20 minutes. Team Blue, yeah? Are you serious? Yes. Oh. 20 minutes and you don't know what you're doing. Right, where's the frying pan? Give me the frying pan. Right, so how did he do it now? He, what, what? What did he do? He sprayed the thing. Uh-oh. But you can't mix it until the order comes in, cos we don't know who's ordered. She's just ordered. She... 20. No, she said 20 minutes before we order. She did not say... 20 minutes before we want food on the plate. So, so what have you done? Nothing. We're behind now. Did you have an argument, you two? Yes. No, yeah, we didn't have an argument. She didn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, Ten minutes to service. Ten minutes. Very impressed. Thank you, babe. All right. I'm feeling really good, actually. Calm. Before the storm, probably. But no, look at us. They're flapping. We're chilled. You put the broccoli and I put the noodles. Is it okay? Yes, chef. Is it okay? Yeah. Right. They have to work fast. You keep going, though, yeah? Yeah, chef. Right, Mum, shall I pour these in the um? We've got ten. I've got to get this out, stock. Right, okay. Okay, let's go. Matt's team are well ahead. Let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, just a bit faster, guys. Go, go. But JC's team have only managed to serve half the diners so far. Justin, yes. they're not to hurry up. So keep moving your ass quickly. Down to a last full bag. Very good, very good. Keep going. Yeah, Sue, go. It's a nervous truck, I'm telling you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last one. Is that it? That's it. Oh. Yeah. Two more plates. Two more plates? So here, these two here. OK, let's go. Last one. They're finally done. We clear up, please, let's go. But what will the kids think of the food? I am going to be voting for the sweet and sour ch chicken because I think it adds lovely taste to, to it. Well, that's one vote, then. Um, the both right, but I like to use this better because um, it had different flavours, whereas the fish, it was bland. That's some good news for Justin and Suki, but JC's not happy. Do you realise I actually put you in charge where I made a silly mistake to do so? Where, from the beginning, as always, your mum was probably right. No, but I asked you what I should do, and it's like you didn't even tell me what I should do. I did say, I can only do my job if you listen to me and if you make your bit. Bon appétit. There are 40 votes to be had. How can I describe it? Horrific. That one went horrific. Um, I think it's 50 for anyone's game at the moment. We did get it out quicker, but it's not on who gets it out first, is it? It's the now taste. It's Liz has the results of the tastiest dishes. OK, chefs, I can tell you that Jean Christophe's sweet and sour chicken, cooked by Justine and Suki, has received 27 votes. <laughs> which means that Matt, your spicy sea bass cooked by Mark <laughs> and Amy, has received 13 votes. OK, oh. it's all right. Oh. It's not bad, it's not bad. Yeah. But it's not finished, yeah? We this need to cook it, yeah? It's not over yet, big man, yeah? It's not over yet. Gutted, gutted, gutted. but we've still got the dessert to come, so hopefully we can pick it up on the old dessert. Right, right. shall we do this? Yeah. If Matt wants to win, he has to get over 70% of the votes in round two with his mango and lime fool. His secret is to use low-fat dairy ingredients. I need ten more. The dish to beat is Jean-Christophe's pineapple pudding with ice cream. Allez, allez, allez. Rapido, rapido. This is beautiful. Matt's storming ahead. He's trying to get his desserts out first. It looks beautiful. Where's your boys and girls, Liz? We're They're not quick enough for me, yeah? Come on, gang. Let's go. We want these people to win. JC's team have hit a big problem. Chef, what's happening? It's not cooked enough. The oven is not hot enough. The cakes will need more time. Jean Christophe, how much longer? Five minutes waiting. Meanwhile, all of Matt's desserts have been served. Hey! Hey! hey. Well done. Well, well, done, done, Matt. well done. Well done. Now we feel really pressurised. Nice and easy. So now we're coming out great. They've got 40 puddings to get out quickly if they have any chance of winning. Are you happy with that? Yes. Let's go. I'll tell you something. We might be late, but it's fantastic.
That's the last one. And we're done. Okay. Where do I put? I think you're still in. Wow. The diners must vote for their final dish. Has JC thrown away his lead? Despite the lateness of Jean Christophe's dessert, um, I've tasted it and it's very good. I think the other team's going to win for the dessert. It's time for the cooks to face their critics. So I have the results. And I can announce that the pineapple upside down pudding has received 34 votes. Which means the mango and lime fool has received six votes. <laughs> the overall winner of tonight's competition and a year's supply of healthy groceries goes to Suki, Justine and Jean-Christophe. Yes. Yes. It's a massive result for Jean-Christophe and his team. We've lost, but we've come out of this with some great tips from Matt, and we're going to go home and cook a lot more healthier in our kitchen, aren't we? Definitely. 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 I think what we'll take away from this experience is that if we work as a team, we can actually get things done. And that's the best fit. Mother and daughter work does the team. Sorry, what was that again? Mango line full. Full. I'm going to come back, <clears throat> and I'm going to beat you. What is 34 and 6 against 14? <laughs> Leave the building.